So following all the interests we've had from uh, Vercel users and customers, the middleware is really kind of like the best developer experience that we could come up with to essentially turn any of your uh, endpoints on Vercel, irrespective of framework, into a asynchronous endpoint. Uh, so that's perfect for handling webhooks, for instance. What specifically that allows you to do is basically apply queuing, throttling, retry logic, delays, and uh, verification to the data that's coming in. So let me show you how that works. Here I have a um, Next.js app. So I have this endpoint on slash API slash webhook slash Stripe. And this is going to respond to post requests and just spit back some data in the body. Um, but you would imagine here uh, your code, you know, handling the subscription, the invoice, the charge, or what have you. So if I want to make this now asynchronous, the first thing I'll do is I'll install the uh, deck for self library. So this is going to install right now. Um, and that's going to do a couple of things. So first, let's have a look at the package JSON. Uh, obviously, we installed the library, but beyond that, we also added a pre-built script. So the library did that on the on the post install. And what that script is going to do is uh, basically deploy all the necessary UGDEC configuration at build time. Next, we're going to have a look at the UGDEC config. So in the UGDEC config, we uh, can register kind of using the same match API as your current middleware. Um, different endpoints that we want to transform into an asynchronous endpoint. So I'll do or slash web uh, slash API slash webhook slash stripe, and then I'll comment some of the types here and then add a couple of rules. So I'll add a retry rule. What this retry rule is going to do is retry, let's do exponentially um, up to five times with every minute kind of exponential. And next, I also want to add a throttle. So this is what we call the rate. Um, and uh, this is going to basically throttle to 10 execution per minute. Um, and the, last, the, the rest will leave as is, and you can kind of go and dig through the documentation. And then the final step here is in our middleware itself. Um, in this case, we created a middleware file, but if one already existed, then you would need to add or with a deck uh, wrapper that basically just like wraps the existing middleware that you have. And then I'll make sure that we have a match on something. So we'll do slash API slash webhooks. And then just in case we add more in the future, we'll do a wildcard select here. Um, okay, so we're all set. From there, uh, what I can do is I can deploy to Vercel. So I'll de deploy to a uh, production endpoint. All right, that was pretty quick. So uh, 26 seconds. All right, let's have a look at it. So um, here we basically they, uh, ran the uh, deck deploy command, uh, the, detected the usage of the library that created all the necessary configuration in um, a deck to be able to apply the rules that we, we set up. And then we have a deck successfully configured. So that's great. What it means now is uh, now that this is deploy is we can make a curl request to our endpoints. So Vercel demo, blah, 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 slash API slash web slash stripe. If I do send this request, now the response that I get is not the response from my endpoint itself. It's instead the response from a deck, which will then re-deliver uh, that message to the, to the endpoint for processing asynchronously. So that's all in good, but to make things a bit more interesting, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pull up a load task configuration where it's going to send five requests per second for 60 seconds. Uh, that kind of mimic that curl request that we just did. So I'm gonna send that out. And uh, while that goes on, I'm gonna show you quickly what happened when it hooked back. So specifically here, that created the necessary configuration and connection. So we can see, for instance, our max delivery rate of 10 per minute is being represented right here. And then if I have a look at my events, uh, we can see events coming in now. So like the latest one, so the uh, 1805 is probably when we, we made our first curl request. And now all the other events are piling up and they're showing a pending is because those are effectively being queued, right? So we can, as we refresh the Instagram, we can like see those requests are coming in. Um, but a deck is not going to chug through these. And if we have a look at the uh, logs for Vercel uh, functions, uh, we're going to see a bunch where it basically says um, forwarding to ICDEX. So this is when we intercept the original request and then we re-deliver it uh, to the the intended function uh, after the fact with like specific headers and so on to bypass the middleware. So that's all it took really to now be able to, you know, process hundreds of millions of webhooks on Vercel. So that's it. Take care and thanks for watching.